right. Uh, Ivan Fedotov. Fetty. It happened. Fetty. I'm making it happen. Okay. That's my thing. Okay. He's here. Uh, the <laughs> long saga, almost nine years after he was drafted. It's wild. Seventh round of Ron Hextall's second draft. <laughs> the second draft. Oh, my God. 2015, and now he is a Philadelphia Flyer. He made his debut last night and didn't look too bad. Yeah. Liked what I saw for the most part out of Ivan Fedotov. I loved his uh, his full length clear on the, that was a lot of fun. I loved. That. He's got a little personality. It looks like out there. Yeah. When he went to the wrong net and over that, that was very endearing. So that was very endearing. Was so goddamn I love funny. him with my life. Oh yeah. My entire happiness is invested in this man's success. Like I just imagine, like at least Varlamov can like tell him. Yeah. Like, no hey buddy. man, what what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. You know, at least they're from the same place, but. Uh, just initial impressions of everything that's happened over these last couple of days, and then we'll get into what actually happened in last night's game. I mean, I give that kid so much credit. And I guess I, we, we, it, it's funny. We called him a kid with, when I was on with Anthony Gargano. Old, he's, well, he's 27, yeah. going on 28. I guess he's still a kid. I mean, whatever. When I was 27, I still felt like a kid. Yeah, I was basically homeless. I still feel like a kid now. Well, there so. you go. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Right. So it's all about how old you <laughs> feel. Call him a kid. It, it, be a kid. It's all about how old you feel. Yeah. This man has lived many lives. That is true. <laughs> he probably yeah, is he probably a grizzled feel, vet. Yeah, he That's probably true. feels like he's in his 50s yeah. after the shit he's had to go through. Jesus Christ. But I was not expecting him to look as good as he did. Now, I will say, and I did point this out on Twitter before, um, I think it was like this weekend, maybe it was Friday, where... I was, I am of the belief, and I was of the belief, that I felt like Fedotov had a chance, a pretty good chance, and I was even somewhat expecting it, that he was going to start out strong once he got into games because teams have no tape on him. And, like, somebody jumped in my mentions today because, of course, they did. It was like, what do you think? Teams don't watch the KHL? I'm like, no, no. they don't. No. Like, yeah, they theoretically have access to tape. But, no, I do not How think— How much time do you think these people have? Yeah, like, like there's only 24 hours in a day. They're not watching every single goalie in existence, especially wow. not the goalies who no one thinks are going to be able to come yeah, he over. He was a prisoner of war <laughs> goddamn 12 months ago. So, no, at the moment, no one in the NHL really has significant tape on this guy to know his strengths and weaknesses and i said this on on anthony gargano's show this morning you Ooh. could tell on multiple occasions during this game there were times where there would be an islander player coming down coming down looking to fit it off and you could tell they were just like i don't know what the fuck to oh, do yeah. like where do i shoot so big. <laughs> the barzell breakaway when you see him look up you can just see him go well yeah. What? what? Where? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see the net. <laughs> you, no, it's but but I, I you're do unsustainably think, yeah. like, like even if it's oh my god he's got a nine fifty save percentage through his first two appearances simply because how do you beat him? Yeah, I, I I just think that he given the circumstances he was being put in position where I think he will get off to a good start even if he stinks at the NHL level, which I'm not saying he will. I'm just saying we don't know. But even if in two years we're looking back and we're like, ah, oh, remember that Fedotov guy? You know, that was fun, that little bit where Rob we thought, where we thought yeah. he was a guy. But for now, I think he can definitely benefit from the fact that he's extremely large and teams don't know how to beat him yet. That said, I did not expect him to play this well <laughs> four games into his, his NHL career while still breaking a new equipment possibly still a touch jet lagged. Yeah. Like I was not expecting him to look this good. And the fact that he did makes me feel not even as so much good about like his talent, because I don't know how talented he is and how he will translate to the NHL level over the long term. What it makes me feel very good about, however, is his, the mental side of his game. Mm -hmm. The fact that he was able to come in, in this big of a game in the second period, coming in cold, like doubly cold number one coming in cold because he he didn't warm up as if he was a starter number two coming in cold because he hasn't had a full practice with the team number three coming in cold because like it came freaking russia yeah. he's coming in well, literally from the played. cold yeah metaphorically and actually <laughs> the, i mean shit and he put up a pretty darn good game so that makes me feel good about his you know his as i put it in my article his testicular fortitude I love that, Charles. It is funny <laughs> watching someone out there in like the crispest, whitest goalie gear you've ever seen in your life. Just like not a single puck mark. <laughs> I guess I love the I love goalie helmet art. 
I dig I the like all it. white helmet. I hope it it keeps is cool. It. Like it's pretty cool looking, especially I like it. with like how <gasps> everyone has gone on board yeah. with the like we need the special designs. Having one guy do the all white, yeah, it's neat. That that's cool. I will say, I have to. I give the Flyers a lot of credit here because it would have been very easy for them to give up on this guy. And I feel like regardless I of did. what happens, <laughs> I really like that they gave this guy after everything that he's been through the opportunity to live out his dream yeah, in the I NHL. Agree. It's fucking awesome. And they didn't need to do it. And I, it seems like maybe if last night is any indication, it's going to be, you know, a it good might. thing that they did, but I just feel like, like on a personal level, on like a human story level, it's very cool that he's getting to do this. Regardless of what happens after the season or even fuck in his next start, like the next, his first start, like, you yeah, know, his he first has, start, he this wasn't even yet. a start. Like, regardless of what happens from here, this is one of the coolest things that has happened on or off the ice for the Flyers in a long time. And yeah. for him, dude, awesome. Like, I'm happy for you as a human oh, being. Oh, yeah, for, as a human like, being. Yeah. You were, this is so cool. He was 12 I months ago him. on a submarine. <laughs> We're all silly like the mayor. 